Sorry about that. I was thinking six o'clock on the start. That's why y'all were all looking at me like I spread late. <laughs> if you will, on purchasing, if you look on page uh, two of your packet purchasing committee, uh, we do have a quorum here for that. I believe uh, Mr. Dennis and Mr. At Miss Atwood would be out, but otherwise we do have a quorum with uh, myself, Mr. Gregory, and Mr. Ford. Page two of your packet is <clears throat> your purchasing. Get off that truck to get delivered, the fire truck. But, uh, first, uh, last time we talked, it hadn't been delivered. I just think November. Oh, last time it was maybe like September or something. Keep it. That makes sense. I was asking there, that, that emergency equipment I is the uh, brush truck. It still hadn't been delivered is what I was discussing there. Oh, no, that's 265. That's a purchase of the ambulance. Never mind. That's the ambulance that was purchased. Two years. I was about to say, that wasn't last year's purchase then. Uh, it, we paid for it. Which... My mistake there, that was an ambulance that was ordered two years ago. And it is in, I believe I saw it the other day, a little different looking ambulance, uh, Mercedes style. Any questions over anything here on the uh, purchasing? I, I looked over it a few times when I first got the packet. I hadn't seen anything out of order. <clears throat> Guess I misunderstood one there. Any discussion there on any? If not, I would entertain a motion for a purchasing committee to accept the uh, purchase report for the quarter July through September 2024. <clears throat> It'll have to be a uh, second, have to come from. Sorry about that, Mr. Ford. Uh, I do have it seconded. Mr. Ford uh, made uh, the second. Mr. Gregory made the motion uh, to accept the uh, purchasing report from July through September. Any discussion? If not, all those in favor, let it be known by stating aye. The purchasing committee, aye. It is approved. All right, at this time, I guess we will move on into our budget and finance committee meeting. Um, I appreciate those that are here for sure. I was a little bit concerned that we've got to have five and we're right on the number. So uh, it works out. Uh, we do have three absent, but uh, thankful we've got a quorum here tonight. Um, <clears throat> if you will, you see your next thing on your agenda is your budget minutes from the September 16th meeting. Please review those minutes at this time. We'll entertain a motion after you've had time to re uh, review those uh, or to make changes if any needed. I have a motion to approve the minutes. Do I hear a second? I have a motion and a second to approve the minutes as written. Any discussion on that motion? If not, all those in favor, let it be known by stating aye. Uh, those minutes do become a permanent part of our record. Next piece of your agenda is to look over your financial summaries. We'll first look at the trustee's cash balance.
<clears throat> any discussion at the uh on the uh trustees cash balance that's your page five if not we'll move on into the <clears throat> financial summary sorry y'all voice is not staying with me um you'll see your first one on page six there's your breakdown of um expenditures uh, revenues and all pieces, expenses and revenues and property tax. Of course, at this point, we would not be seeing property tax showing. Uh, first ones will start coming in. I guess did start coming in September, just aren't showing because at this point, lightly. Looks like they're coming in actually decent. Huh? A couple. It's going to start showing here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. uh, generally, the generally the core civic pays in the early one as well. So that saves them 2%. Okay. When you say uh, 43140 43, uh, zoning studies, but you're looking on the side of uh, revenues, correct? Well, I'm looking at actual, it says actual, it's budgeted 4,000 and doesn't spend 3,500. That's a revenue. You're on the revenue. Okay. Anything else in the 101 on revenue side? If not, moving to the expenditure side of the 101. Again, you should be looking somewhere in the 25% at the month of September. Your page 11 has your breakdowns. <clears throat> of where those dollars are going. The 91, 150 payment had been made as of. Oh, that is when the requirement came in for new equipment and new installation. Right. I thought it was due at the end of the installation, so it's finished. 
It is not. Nope, sure isn't. Not Phoebe. There we go. The flavor. But it's open, right? Open season edition. I understood they had an opening this weekend. I have no idea. The uh, mayor's office did not. Understood. So it is not open. That is. Yep. Understood. Yeah. My question was the ninety one one fifty. Um, I noticed the payment hadn't been finalized, so that means the park is not finished. Is what that means. All right, moving on. Um, looking at the uh, sheriff's breakdown, any questions in the 101 there? All of these are coming in under the 25%, actually pretty well under the 25% at this time. I don't remember it every two weeks. So it is two weeks. Except for the sheriff's salary itself. So you're running about 17 to 18% as of right now. Fortunately, your overtime looks a lot better. <laughs> your, um, <clears throat> My apologies. All right, if no other questions there, we'll move into the 111, page 13. You're looking at revenues. This time, the bulk of revenues would be out of property tax, so you will see a little uptick in that by the November but it's not going to see much at this point. Fortunately, expenditures are in the same location. $56,900. i am assuming the $32,320, I hope, has to do with Christmas decorations. Well, your fireworks will be your your end of the year purchase there for yeah, $32, correct, but we would purchase the July fourth fireworks in June this year, you know what I'm saying? That's why I was asking sort of making sure we still had available funding, so that's Christmas decorations. Okay. Got some stuff in. Any questions in the 111? You have your shares break down on the 111 behind it, set at 15%. Again, that overtime's staying at a very manageable number. Let's hope that continues. If no questions here, moving into 116, solid waste. Revenues of solid waste on page. 15 revenues and expenditures are on the same page here. Yeah. 
again, the bulk of this would come from um, the bulk of this would come from property tax. Oh, I shouldn't. Um, I don't know if what he. I think cardboard is something that we've uh, sold quite a bit of lately. Is what I understood. That one was up in the uh, last two months as well, so it's been up heavily. But it is doing well. Expenditures look strong. There's no nothing out of order. You're sitting at twelve percent on a twenty five percent timeline, so always looks good. Hopefully, there's no major cost coming out of there. We've I think got most of the equipment purchased that's needed for the, to keep it running at this point. We just didn't, I think we're still waiting on a truck or two delivery, but that's a seems to be years down the road from everything we continue to find on ordering something. He had hoped to get that truck this fall, I know, but we will see what this fall turns into. One eighteen, your ambulance. Your uh, revenues are setting at ten point two percent. Of course, you twenty five percent end of the year. But remembering, as we said, the the bulk is property tax. Uh, of course, the patient care is going along pretty well. It's almost at its uh, expected number, sitting at about twenty one percent. So that's always good. It's keeping up with where you would want to see it keeping. That's a a good thing to see. Uh, expenditures are at 17.2%. Uh, a breakdown of that's on page 17. All looking pretty strong there. Overtime sitting at 16.06%. .06%. That seems to be getting under control. Total of the 118 at 17.6%. Uh, at 25% time, so that's uh, those are some good breakdowns. Nothing seemed to be out of line that I saw. Does anyone see anything that catches your eye? If not, moving. 121, of course, if it gets passed through money, not money that we really get anything off of. I believe, as we noted, the um, negotiation for that should start sometime in the early 25 because it will be up for negotiation uh, in the 25 budget. So that would be uh, hopefully getting started early 2025 with some uh, discussion on uh, hopefully that contract having uh, the three hundred thousand dollar contract. What I'm really talking about right now, having a uh, hopeful. Um, we our sheriff's continuing to tell us it's costing us more and more and more. Uh, he states that he's keeping a pretty good record of that, so we will see where that goes. Uh, your one twenty two uh, drug uh, is running. Uh, it's sheriff's fund, it's, uh, it's drug control fines is what we're talking about. Um, fines are running on revenue side about a little below uh, budget, 16.2%, but uh, that's a, a piece that kind of can be hit or miss at certain times. Expenditures, zero is always good to see. 127, your ARPA, 127 and 128 are your two ARPA funds. <clears throat> remaining balance of 124970 and I believe that is 100% monies there. Nothing is, I believe, on that one accrued. I'll have to go look that again, but I believe that to be the case. That's the one that we got emailed today. 
some of those dollars uh, have, they look like they're there, but they've already been spent somewhere. But I believe that one is sitting. Allocated is the word, but yes, ma'am, thank you. Uh, there, I don't believe there's any allocated funds. I believe that is. Sitting. Correct. Are there any questions on 121 on the uh, 127 or 128? Yeah, I believe that is all completely uh, available funds. 125,130 roughly. Your Moving to the 151, your debt service. Uh, fortunately, we know exactly where our debts are, are running. And um, I believe there will be some investment income about to a city just matured. So you'll see a change on that 44110 in the um, next budget meeting. I believe that city is just finished. Matured is the word you want to use. We can we can use proper if you want to. <laughs> Any questions in one fifty one? If not, moving on, 171, that's your capital projects where your money that we were speaking of earlier that uh, majority of these funds come from the money generated through the um, negotiated monies from Core Civic for handling the uh, jail prison out here. 131 Highway Fund, yes sir, Mr. Ford. Gonna be negotiating with them. Uh, so that is up for negotiation in 2025. So that negotiation should begin in early, um, early in 2025 because it would be part of the budget for the 2025, um, uh, for their budget as well. So hopefully that discussion maybe is already beginning, and hopefully the negotiation table is, uh, having some uh, give and takes. I'm sure. But our, uh, Sheriff Russell has mentioned a few times that he is, uh, you know, he's been asked by this committee to keep up with a track of what's cost because he's he's mentioned multiple times uh, that the cost that that is incurring on his 
over time that has cost us. He's incurring on multiple uh, deputies and miles driven uh, to uh, Memphis and other areas to go pick up uh, inmates uh, and back and forth to Nashville and other things regular. So. I, I can't answer the court cases, but those will have a cost on our county, that's for sure. They are county residents that we will be paying for in that terms. Sounds like it will will take a toll on our court system. Oh, it very likely could uh, be quite expensive. Negotiation table hopefully will... Uh, recover some of those costs. 131, your highway. Um, of course, the, every commissioner gets a, a monthly, I believe it is, uh, or quarterly, I can't remember, quarterly, um, from the highway department. Does a great job with that department running their finances. Uh, the county contributes a little over $100,000. Um, that's one of those things that the county learned. Uh, uh, I don't know if you'd call it the hard way because they do a good job with their money, but learned um, a, about the maintenance of effort uh, fund there. That was some money that was given out of believe to pay a parking lot, and uh, we continue yearly covering that number. I could be wrong. It was a, it was paving something, but I think it was a parking lot. But maintenance of effort is certainly a piece. But he he does a great job with uh, those funds by far. <clears throat> Any uh, discussion on 131? If not, 141, school's general purpose. You're looking at revenue side. If no discussion on 141, I wouldn't entertain a motion to uh, accept the trustee's cash balance and the financial summaries as presented. Motion by Ms. Overman, second by Mr. Ford uh, to accept the cash balance and the uh, financial summaries for September 2024 as presented. Uh, any discussion on that motion? If not, all those in favor of the motion, let me know by stating aye. Aye. Thank you. We will next move in uh, on your budget to a few budget amendments, I believe. Um, you see two with one, the first two we're talking of here have fund balance and grant, it appears. So this one, this or you said that the the state give them a salary supplement for this past year. This is coming. Sort of explain that a little. So this is a, a post grant that comes from the state. Um, it is eight hundred dollars to full time law enforcement officers for services provided in the twenty twenty three calendar year. I believe there are nineteen deputies in uh, total. Some from urban, some from general. Is that the same for the next for the. Uh... EMS, em and then the emergency EMS management. One, you should have a revised uh, budget amendment at your seat when you 
when you came in. Um, I had forgotten to change the uh, functions. So instead of 54110, it is coming out of the EMA 54490. And that is another grant uh, supplied by, um, I believe it is TEMA, it is the Emergency Management Performance Grant, and it is a supplement for the EMA director. This is just the supplement for the director. Mm -hmm. So um, it looks like a portion of it is in form of grant. That's what I was fixing to ask. What is the uh, reason for the fund balance draw on both of these? So the grant provides the supplement, and unfortunately, the local government provides the benefits such as Social Security, Medicare, and the retirement. So that's the same on both? Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So the 2100 in the law enforcement is the local government covering the cost of Social Security, or state, uh, state retirement, and Medicare? All clear. Motion to send them forward with a favorable commission. I was going to see if you want to go. What I was actually looking at is um, only only two there. There's a third in the urban service. That's yeah. That's what I was looking at. Um, you're going to have to help me on what's RG? Uh, reserves. So, um, Jenny is wanting to pull from her reserve funding, and she's also getting a grant in that same budget. Okay, there we go. Uh, so, motion to approve the two, um, uh, the two 10103 FG and 10104 FG. Those are two salary supplements grants. I have a motion to approve those two. Do I hear a second? Do I have a second? Any um, discussion on those two? Oh, Mr. Ford, sorry. Any discussion on those two items? If not, all those in favor, let it be known by stating aye. Uh, the next one is a donation to the fire department, 10105. It's a citizen's donation. Motion to approve and a second. Motion to approve by Ms. Overman, second by Mr. Gregory. Any discussion? If not, all those in favor, let me know by stating aye. All right. Um, am I missing something? I had pulled it out earlier when I was looking through it. That makes sense. Um, 101-06-RG. That's what I was at. It's like, I don't know what RG stood for. Um, some reserve funds here, as well as some grant funds uh, for the Senior Citizen Center. And Senior Citizen is pulling uh, from dedicated funding to uh, for event supplies. Uh, Amendment to the GNRC grant for five thousand dollars appropriated to the staff development and exercise equipment. That's really all it says. Very broad in what's what's happening. Uh, two thousand dollars for staff development, three thousand dollars for supplies and materials. I, um, actually, that'd be a total of forty five hundred for supplies and materials. I do not know what they're for. Supplies and materials are going to be your exercise equipment. The staff development is for. Uh, our, one of our assistants. Um, some some form of medical equipment of, of exercise equipment is what it was stated there in this case. What it is is what I'm saying. I don't don't know in those cases, but there may be a staff development was a CDL um, driver license pay, being paid for. Any Miss Overman has a motion to approve. Mr. Ford with a second. Any discussion? If not, all those in favor, let it be known by stating aye. Um, one eleven. This is the same as the first two funds we did. It's just the one eleven side of this coming uh, for the sheriff's department. 
I believe it's the same. It looks like it's two officers, uh, $1,600 or two. Motion to approve by Mr. Gregory. Second by Ms. Overman. Uh, again, the fund balance portion of this is coming uh, to pay the uh, Social Security retirement and uh, Medicare. Any uh, discussion? If not, all those in favor, let me know by stating aye. Uh, it is favorably moving on. <clears throat> 14101 Spark Grant. Um, vocation education, vocational education programs uh, in, a, in the amount of $78,115.68. It's carryover revenue for the vocational Spark Grant. Um, it's being asked here in this case, you can see this being broken down into teacher social security pensions, um, vocational education program. Uh, totals and textbooks. I have a motion to approve. I have a second. Um, any discussion? If not, all those in favor, let me know by stating aye. Uh, we have one more ISM grant. Um, again, here this is vocational education program six hundred seventy seven thousand two hundred five dollars and seventy three cents carry over re uh, revenue from the ISM initiative for school models. Um, as you can see, the breakdown here of what those um, um, dollars are going to be spent on. Or have been in the re reimbursements. Any discussion? I have a motion by Ms. Overman. A second by Mr. Ford. All those in, any discussion? If not, all those in favor, let it be known by stating aye. Aye. Motion does move forward. 141 building maintenance. Uh, it's again the uh, uh, here in this case, <clears throat> maintenance of plant $24,334.70 to offset unexpected maintenance repairs. Motion to approve. Second by Mr. Gregory. Any discussion? It does not state where the maintenance problem was. I can ask if you need me to, but yes, sir, maintenance for unexpected repairs. Usually unexpected repairs means something. Uh, you're not counting on breaking. We do have a motion and a second, I believe, on this one. That was Ms. Overman and Mr. Gregory. Any discussion otherwise? If not, all those in favor, let me know by stating aye. Aye. Any opposed? It is favorable. Um, moving on to discussion items. Your investments is what I ask that we put here on this. I put on the agenda. Under the investments piece of this, um, the two CDs that were setting, I think we had two $500,000 CDs setting that matured a week ago, I believe. Um, may have been two weeks ago. Uh, no, it was last week. Uh, both matured last week. Um, and at this point, what is the, um, we had discussed in the last meeting uh, about a desire to go back into a CD, but we didn't really state and, and have good information on how much money we had available. With the 127 and the 128, which are ARPA funding, and the 171, which is that um, 300,000 that's sitting in the capital projects fund each each year, there's a little over 1.1 million, uh, almost 1.2 actually sitting in that fund. Um, I didn't. Um, it's over four, but I don't know the exact number right now. Um, and it's over four right now. Um, excluding that money. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Uh, so that that is total monies available at this time um, with the purchase of the property that was made last month extracted from that. So there's no funds uh, waiting to be expended uh, in that right now. So in this committee's hands, it, it would be my opinion that it's best uh, best served that we definitely put some money 
back on a CD or two CDs, but how much does this committee see fit? Um, I did ask the mayor if there was any uh, additional purchases, such as the land one that he saw forthcoming in the next, most of these CDs are set on nine months right now. Like if he saw anything coming in the next nine months and he did not. So that was all I could get out of that piece. Uh, you will note that I will say this, um, we uh, earned um, on the uh, 127, uh, uh, we earned 17,000 in interest on that one. Uh, on the um, 128, we earned right at uh, 29,000 uh, in interest on that one last year on those dollars that we put in. We I know we asked that those accrued in the 151 debt service, so that would be kind of the same thought here is that that interest goes, in my view, into debt service. But I, I'll leave that in this committee's hands of where we're going with it. That's great. That's great. You're talking about going forward. Right. Okay. Any discussion on those? I'll uh, repeat a couple of numbers. If you want to write these down, that way you've got them. 127 has $125,130. 128 uh, has, has 404,166. That's 404,166. And after the purchase of the land payment that was just made, the 171 has That's great. It's total. That's great. Sure. Makes sense. Gotcha. That's what I should have. In my opinion, it's always better to uh, move on this sooner than later. Uh, and I don't mind a bit being the one that, or, or Mr. Greer, you might know how to talk to Cindy to say, hey, here's what we chose to do. Uh, but we can talk with it as well. Uh, but the movement is, what does this commission wish to do with those funds? I see no reason for them my, myself to just be sitting there um, not drawing. I think the uh, it's less than one, it's less than a half percent on the checking account that it's sitting on. Or just the, the not checking account, but the uh, um, savings account. I would personally, I, I don't mind stepping inside if Mr. Greer wants to take this or if y'all find me talking from the chair. Um, does anyone have a opposition to me talking from the chair? I would personally say that we put um, 600,000 of the 171 into a CD itself. And that money 
the interest of that money goes into the uh, 151 debt service. And you've got an additional 500,000, um, a little over, it's five, nearly 530 um, setting and 500,000 for the ARPA and uh, uh, the ARPA funds, 121, 127, 128 goes into a CD itself, putting 1.1 in a CD for nine months. If you wish not to tie those funds up, we don't have to tie them up, but I certainly believe we need to put the 171 capital projects, 600,000 into a CD. Let me state it this way. The last month, the budget finance said we need to move money into a CD. Uh, now here's the amount of money we got available, what we want to move in and where. I won't disagree that you're not necessarily getting much more in than you're paying out, but I do always believe it's better to have a, a, a rainy day fund that's covering that amount plus a little bit than it is to just send it all out. Personal opinion. Um, there is more money available, and of course, in the fund balance that, that's there. I wouldn't want to tie it all up. Miss Amy might get a little anxious if we tie it up too much over here. There is money in the fund balance that could be used to pay off some debt if we wish to do that, whichever way you want to go. Mm, awfully quiet. I, I I don't mind a bit. I don't like making a motion from the chair. I'll just be straight with you. We can get a good a good rate. Then it's it's definitely a decent rate. It's not as good as it was last year at this time, but it's a it's a lot better than it's been in the past. And we're talking about a a, a six or a nine month CD. <clears throat> I don't like making a motion from the chair. I don't mind making one, but I don't like making one from the chair. I just don't, I don't think that's the right route to go. It doesn't follow parliamentary. Is it any, we could pay off that would uh, a little small debt or something we can knock out? What's this cost us? If you look at your 151, you will notice there's nothing drawing more interest than what the uh, CD currently rate is. So uh, I think those education Grants that you see, you have, you have uh, a 4.12, a 4.12, and a 4.19. Nothing is drawing uh, at that rate. A couple of them are are, uh, are even less than that uh, currently. You can't ever tell what's going to happen with CDs, but I will say that in, they've you know they've dropped from 4.95 to four five range in the last three weeks, four weeks, from four nine five to four and a half. I, I certainly will, but I'd rather you you take a chair if I'm gonna make the motion. I, I do not make a motion for the chair. It's not gonna do that. That just doesn't follow parliamentary procedures. I don't want to start that. Art, Mr. Gilly. Uh, I'd make a motion that we take uh, six hundred of the uh, six hundred thousand of the one seventy one and place that on a CD for a nine month or whatever she can get best rate on, and four hundred thousand of the ARPA funds. The one twenty eight fund has four hundred four, so take that four hundred thousand into a CD as well. Uh, I would like the one seventy one's interest to go into one fifty one. ARPA will have to go back into ARPA. That will still leave about 130000 if the county has some cost come up they need of available just without ever having to touch fund balance. That'd be my motion. Y'all have heard the motion stated. Is it, uh, I have a second on this motion. 
I got a second, Mr. Ford. Is there any more discussion on this? So your motion is you got it. You do got the motion down. What he stated. Okay, we got a motion and a second. Any more discussion? All in favor, say aye. Aye. Motion carries. That all we got left on. That's it. You can close it up. Public uh, comment. Any public comments for the Budget and Finance Committee? Saying none. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Got a motion. Appreciate y'all showing up. Thank y'all.